Hi guys, welcome back, Magic Farm 2 with me, Sid, and we are having um, a little working holiday today. Um, so we're not working around here, we're not doing the blood magic, we're not doing anything in the Mariculture Forge. We're actually going to go on a little holiday. So before we go, obviously to, to help us relax, give me one of them. Uh, and I, I think it's, you know, when you go on holiday, it is important that you have a few um, holiday drinks with you. And so we're going to take those and we're going to take a few mango smoothies. Just so we can chillax on the beach, so to speak. Where are we going? Okay. Right, so let me try and navigate Brown. The only problem is when you get a lot of furniture in these boots, you seriously run off. So I've set up a little fast travel network. Um, so here I've got a linking book to the nether. Um, brings us into here, and then we've got a little fast linking book home. Uh, and this one, dive site. Brings us out here. So I've got my little holiday cabin on the beach. I've got my fire, my fishing rods, so I can, you know, I can just get myself sat in my chair and do a little bit of fishing you know because every aspiring mage needs to uh, oops, chillax and lay back I've actually got some mariculture rods out here with a sifter and um, got my fast rank linking book back and usual bits and pieces but no the reason we're actually out here is I want to um, find some natural gas um, and the world gen around my base didn't seem to have any so this seemed to be a nice little cut I've come out well you can you can't even see the distance to the waypoints over there but I'm, I'm probably a couple of thousand blocks away found a nice little beach there's a nice little aura node there should I need it um, and I've got my little hut ready so if you are unfortunately enough not to have a respiration 3 helmet the first thing you're probably going to want to do is make some a snorkel. Um, now the snorkel's are dead easy to make. It is two glass lenses and two reeds. Glass lenses are those, so oops, I need to make some wood first. So we'll have a couple of those and we just go bonk, bonk, and we stick a couple of reeds on and bang, there's your snorkel. Now, if I take that off and stick my snorkel on, <laughs> what does that look like? Oh, brilliant. Uh, we'll sleep quickly before we try that out. Um, but basically the snorkel allows you to hold your breath underwater a lot longer than normal. Come on, do your thing. Now the other thing we're going to need to make, I've got some tanks ready, but we are going to need to make um, a pump to collect natural gas when we find it. And it is a bit of a pig to uh, find. Um, it's a lot easier now in, in the more current versions than it used to be in the previous versions, or at least it seems to be to me. But yeah, so, so we're going to take my snorkel and we're just going to go and jump in the water and you'll see... It's actually having no effect whatsoever. That's interesting. <laughs> I love it when mods work. Um, in theory, that should give you a lot more bars. Anyway, we'll whack that off. Uh, because I don't need a snorkel, because I've got my... In fact, we'll stick them on the rack. We're on holiday. This is our holiday little shack so i've got this which will obviously give me a lot better underwater aspirations now a couple of oh, a couple of other things you're going to want you're probably going to want a potion of night vision um that is really useful when you're hunting around underwater and the last thing you're going to need is a pump or pump or pump however you want to say it and this is pretty straightforward stuff so I'm going to just start off by making myself a few more loggies and we'll whack a piston through want one of those and got that got that we need iron wheels so I'm going to need to make 
some slabs. Grab those. We want just the one. I don't know what that was I picked up. And armed with all of that, we make a pump. Um, just bear with me because I've just heard my lovely wife return, so I will be back in a moment. Alright, sorry about that. Um, now the other thing it's important to have when you're doing this is a non-flammable light source. Now I've just got some uh, glowstone which I've chopped up into blocks just to make mini torches. So let's um, have a drink. This will make it so A you can see and B I can see. And what we are looking for is on the ocean floor gas deposits are indicated by bubbles coming up from under the ground. Now I found they often appear like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and break all the Minecraft rules and we're going to go and dig straight down. But Obviously, if you uh, plug the exit there, and let me just put that out of the way, get those ready, and stick one of those, and then we, you, I always prefer to do the old dig one way, then dig the other. And the reason you can't use fire-based things like torches is the gas is flammable. And you're going to need to get around to around about Y20 or so. And I, keep your eye on your status as well, because that tells you when you've found the gas. You'll get weakness and mining fatigue. Oh, uh, we're at 30. Still too far up. So we're going to just have a little dig down. Now, if you haven't got, well, if you haven't got a thermostatic harness um, like me, you are most likely going to need some means of getting out of here as well, ladders or you know, pillaring back up. But what we want to do is get down. Hey, and we should find. Here we are, this is area, we've got mining fatigue. Now the other thing is, don't, whatever you do, let any lava drips or torches that ex already exist update the state, of, um, the, do a block update, because that will, it seems that the world gen. No, 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 no. It seems that that will, uh, trigger the let me just turn that off again and we should be in a safe location there should be no light sources other than our bits of glowstone which we're going to pop a few down around the place so as I say you can see you've got weakness we've got mining fatigue so this tells us we're in our natural gas deposit and what we need to do is place down some tank and grab the old pump and just start pumping and it hopefully you can see that it's taken eight so we're pumping the gas into these tanks and obviously we've got mining fatigue which isn't helping and once third those two are full because these are open blocks tanks we can harvest them and that's going to be 32 buckets worth of natural gas let's see how much we can get out of this pumpy pump um, not entirely sure how much you'll get per from this deposit but we'll take it all we can And obviously it does take a little bit. You can power this with RF, but I honestly can't see the point. And 
again. And eventually there'll be no gas left. As I say, it's, uh, it's a very difficult one to mine, natural gas, because of course you can't see it. <laughs> but eventually... I'm just going to try and get the last two tanks full. And there may even still be more here, so when you finish and want to go back up, then it's probably worth plugging it so the water doesn't get down here as well. Have we got it? Well, there's still, there's still got the weakness effect, so there's still gas down here. But we've got, what's that, 8 times 16. Some gas. <laughs> grab a pump and uh, now we're ready to head back up now obviously if you haven't got a thermostatic harness this isn't going to be an option um, but what we'll do is we'll drop that down there and plug that up and we'll fly straight up to the top and get out and you may want to leave that in place and that's getting gas. Right, but so the next thing we need to do is to oops, is to do some stuff with this gas. Um, so if you look up natural gas bottle of natural gas. So if we go and look at that, um, what can we use gas for? Uh, I think it doesn't really tell you very easily here, but what can we use a bottle of natural gas for? Well, we can make neoprene. We can put it in with limestone to make hard plastic. And hard plastic is used in flippers along with neoprene. Uh, or you can put it in there with molten glass to get transparent plastic. You can get golden plastic. Transparent plastic is used to make plastic lenses, it's used to make parts of the flood system, so this is pretty pretty cool stuff when you start to play with the flood. Um, and there you can make the neon lamps with it and various other things. You can also use it as a f um, fuel, there is a gas turbine. So I'm going to head back to the base from our little holiday home and we'll put this to some use um, when I return. See you in a moment. Bye for now. Okay, we're back here. I've um, for starters, I put the tanks down. Um, I'm just trying to empty this of fish oil, which is proving difficult. Seeing as these cold two uh, times. Oh, I could have just put a normal glass bottle in. Oh well, no worries. Um, I'm just trying to empty the fish. So yeah. Um, now we need a, a bigger vat. So I've created that. That was pretty straightforward. That's just copper in a U shape. Um, so we've got the the large scale vat now and what we need to do is we need to go and place 16 limestone and then our limestone is dead easy you just go swim around the coast a bit and you'll find limestone pretty much in any sea um, and if we look at the uses of limestone you'll see that if we put 16 limestone with 30,000 millibuckets of natural gas so that is basically two of these almost um, now I think I'm not sure whether I can bucket it or not let me have a look no you can't so we're going to need these to hold 2,000 oh uh, well they did hold 2,000 but they're full of fish oil now now I'm not sure whether I can ladle let me just have a, a look What happened there? Did I just pick that out? What's that got? That's got natural gas. Yeah, we'll put that back. <laughs> Empty. I think we're going to need to use bottles for this job. Um, I could use those ideally. And we'll take our 16 limestone and do the same again. Bup, 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 bup. Right, 
so I need to I suppose ideally I need to empty that out which is going to be easier said than done uh, let me just check these are heat resistant glass which you do yeah all right that's not happening anytime soon these things hold 1000 so I could make a bunch of those let me just go like that so basically we can go one two three four five and that gives us where are they all gone one two three four oh that is glitched to oh there's my bottle of natural gas there's my empty bottle six so that is six thousand milli buckets and the same again one two three four five six get those stick them there so that will take us to 12 a bit glitched on the old thing there five six uh, do the same again duh, 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 duh. And so that is currently it. This should go down to two, I think. If I put 30,000 in there, let me just have a look. Natural gas, six bottles of natural gas. But, 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 but. What we are there for? Three, two. So that should be. Oh no, there'll be one in each, won't it? So that should be 30,000. GUI list can, and once you've got 30 in there, it should start working and doing its bit. Let me just um, have some mango smoothie. Keep me ticking. This is. Uh, as I say, this mod is, is fairly new to me, but you've got 16 limestone with 30, 000, uh, bucket, uh, 30 buckets of natural gas. So not cheap, by any stretch. You are empty. So I think what we need to do is we need the transparent plastic, which is the hard plastic, which we get by... This is what we're getting from here. And we need transparent plastic, so we need molten glass, a milli buckets so if I put in a glass one two three four five six seven eight I'm going to take the leather out of there because we don't need the byproduct uh, I'm going to need more bottles so that's our first hard plastic uh, have we got more bottles six I'm going to need more glass actually but We'll do that in a moment. So that makes nine. And we basically whack those in there. And eventually, what we should see, I don't know what time, the melting point is, a th is 900. So, it's slow as hell. And what we should eventually, oh no, we need heat resistant bottles this time. God damn it. Right, is there a way to empty those? Hmm. Well, I've got an idea. Um, I'm just going to go and make some mariculture tanks, and I will be back in a moment. Okay, I think we're nearly there. We should be almost at the last bottle. Yep. So we've got molten glass, we've got the plastic in there. We let that do its thing. We just put that heat resistant bottle back in there. And we get 16 transparent plastic. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to use that. So we can, we will make a flood later on the things. I'm not worried about those at the moment, but we need to make some neoprene. So that needs a natural gas bottle, four pearls and four rubber bars. Now I brought some rubber with me, so I just need to process that up into bars. I've got plenty of pearls on me, so the only thing I need, I need four of those. 
Did I just put that in there? One. You're not going to take that empty bottle holds twice as much as... No, you're not doing it. Right, hang on, let me just check this recipe. Use plastic neoprene, natural gas. Oh, we need a... F oh, Christ, we need to do it in a fluid transposer, do we? Wonderful. So how do we put it into a fluid transposer? We have to do it with a normal bottle. Right, normal bottles, normal bottles, normal bottles. So I need to take... I'm trying to think, I need four, I need eight of those, one, that one should be almost empty, one of these has got a bottle of natural gas in it, two, so that one should now be almost empty, yep, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight bottles of those, and we're going to need to get back to the uh, main lab. Let's let's try this. Oh, fail! <laughs> now the one thing we're not going to be able to make this episode um, because I'm going to need to do the titanium stuff is the compressor to fill the scuba tanks and I'm going to probably need quite a lot more gas to make other stuff as well but I'll go into that in a bit more detail in a moment let me just wee and right so what I need is the not magma crew oh I need the fluid transposer and I need you in extract mode so you take those one two three and then I want four of those. You're not giving me my bottles back. You tight assed git. And then we put it into fill mode. And we should get, yeah, there we go. Bottles of natural gas. Bit of a faff and it pinched my bottles, but I'll let it off. Right, and then head back to Mariculture land. Let's do it the blood magic way. Yep. I want to actually look what my. Yep, full again. Full. Need to uh, spend a bit of time doing some housekeeping, I think. Uh, uh, and. The only way to travel. <laughs> Alright, so we got those. We've got bunch of rubber so if I remember rightly neoprene we need one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and we got those in there and then we just go one two three four four of those I don't know whether I've got enough in every single color oh, too far and we'll stick some white ones in so that gives us four neoprene, uh, and then we use that, one of those, and one, two, three, four, one of those, and that is one lens for our scuba mask. Um, so I'm going to knock the other one up, I also need to get some yellow dye, so I'll need to go running around for that, so I will be back once I've got that together. Okay, and having got our two plastic lenses, We've got some yellow dye, some black dye, we have a scuba mask, and we just got another book, How to Dive, Water Breathing Underwater. So it tells you all about the various options, the diving suit, which is the cheaper option, uh, and then we've got this one where we're into making the tank. Now I'm going to do the tank today, and... I think we'll get on with the other bits, uh, flippers and stuff, uh, at the next episode, purely and simply because this is actually a really big job. Now I need four, count them, blocks of aluminium. 
And what we have to do is we take one of those and whack it on the anvil. And then we take our hammer and we hit it 50 times. Three, four, five, six, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, dirt, 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 bang, 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 bang. Just, just basically go hog wild on it, and eventually you will get. Oh, you don't actually need four. That's that's useful to know. <coughs> get these, which are used for a variety of things, but we are going to use it to make. A scuba tank so we're going to need some more yellow dye let me just uh, we'll sleep quickly i seem to be sleeping in the wall but we'll live with that and um, we'll just go and grab some more yellow dye from over here plenty of flowers not a problem a couple of those will answer the answer the call in fact red and yellow dye seriously never going to be a problem <coughs> pardon me and what we do is we go and we do a uh, is it, was it that oh I suppose I better do the uh, dye first derp 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 and yellow dye and that gives us our scuba tank obviously scuba tank not much use but I think we wear that on our back and we wear obviously the scuba mask on our face uh, and, and don't we look wonderful <laughs> um, now there is a let me just put you now obviously if I go underwater with this on right now it's not going to help at all um, because I have no oxygen in my tank so what we need to do is we need to build an oxygen compressor which is uh, a little bit more conv convoluted now there is let me just oh, not that one let me just check the controls for mariculture there is a left control to activate or y so it's is it left control or y no i don't want to enable glide there is a, a way to, on these, have land lights and they work and basically give you the underwater. Um, so we'll have to work that one out. But we are on the way to having our full wetsuit. Um, so the next things we need to build, let me just put my proper stuff back before I forget about it. The Next up we need to build is, and I'll stick you in there for now, is the wetsuit, uh, which takes seven neoprene. So we're going to need a whole load more of that going on. And then we need to build flippers, which not those ones, it's these ones. Uh, I wish it was those ones which need four hard plastic that's 120,000 120 buckets of natural gas some more neoprene and that effectively gives us the ability to for like creative fly underwater and then finally we need to make a compressor so we need two of these which are two titanium ingots i'm hoping i may have some of those from my earlier experiments with it two iron wheels if not that's going to be a complete ball ache and then we need to do these, two of these, which need a titanium battery, which need more titanium, so we've got that fun to go. And we need one which is charged to run it as well. And some more sheets of aluminium, which we're covered for. And once we've done all that, we will be able to go deep sea diving like a professional. So, but I suspect I am going to need more gas, so I'm going to have to go back and pump some more gas from that um, reserve we found if there's any left and I've got my fish oil now in the tank there but eventually we will get to the point where we are proper divers so anyway 
<laughs> Till next time, the joys of mariculture await, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. Thank you.